फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट ओन एंड केयरफुल रीडिंग ऑफ द अफोर्सेड पैराग्राफ्स ऑफ द इलेक्शन पटिशन कंटेंड इन इन अनेक्शर वन ऑफ द रिट पटिशन इट इज क्लियर दैट इलेक्शन पटिशन कंटेंट्स एन एडिकुएट स्टेटमेंट ऑफ ऑल मटीरियल फैक्ट्स ऑन विच द एलिगेशंस ऑफ नॉट ओनली इलेगिलिटी इन काउंटिंग ऑफ वोट्स वर फाउंडेड बट स्पेसिफिक एलिगेशंस ऑफ मैनिपुलेशन एंड फ्रॉड प्लेड बाय रिटर्निंग ऑफिसर वाइल काउंटिंग ऑफ वोट्स वर लेवल्ड विद मटीरियल पर्टिकुलर्स not only this but the petitioner had also adduced voluminous evidence to support the allegations leveled in the election petition in respect of aforesaid illegalities and manipulations in counting of votes by entering himself in witness box and by examining his counting agent the forced version of election petition was also supported by other candidates by filing their affidavits before the election tribunal which clearly established that the petitioner had adduced sufficient evidence affording a good ground for believing that manipulation was done and fraud was played while counting of votes by returning officer therefore in my opinion the only way to decide the dispute and to do complete justice between the parties was order for recounting of votes from the perusal of impugned judgment and order passed by the election tribunal it appears that the statement of petitioner and his agent in respect of manipulation in counting of votes has been rejected without any cogent reason it appears that while dealing with issue the election tribunal under wrong notion of law has illegally assumed that the petitioner was required to prove his allegations made in the election petition beyond reasonable doubt whereas in view of legal position enunciated by honorable apex court and this court from time to time as indicated here in before such standard of proof for inspection of ballot papers for the purpose of recounting of votes is not at all necessary the election petitioner was required merely to adduce such evidence on the basis of which allegations could be prima facie established affording good ground for believing that there has been mistake or illegality or manipulation in counting of votes and further on the basis of such evidence court or tribunal trying the election petition could be prima facie satisfied for directing inspection of ballot papers or recounting of votes a distinction between prima facie opinion and concluded opinion was required to be kept in mind but while rejecting the prayer for recount of votes in my opinion the election tribunal has proceeded completely on a wrong motion of law and rejected prayer for recount of votes on the ground that the petitioner has failed to prove his case in this connection it is to be noted that 
when the allegations in the petition were not vague or indefinite or frivolous rather they were very specific in terms and supported by oral evidence adduced before the election tribunal in as much as affidavits of other candidates there was sufficient material before the election tribunal affording good ground to believe that illegality or manipulation was done in counting stoke